she'd get rotten. She'd, she'd go out on a break and she used to drink these little gold label barley wines. And I'd warn the gay... I don't know how many I've barred out for buying Monica barley wines when she'd been on a break. She'd come back from a break rotten drunk. And she'd, she she had this bun on... She always wore this bun on the top of her head. And somehow, when she'd come back from a break, her bun would be skew with. Like, and she'd come down the, and I'd know right away that she was drunk. And with it being a low bar... It would, and we were mad busy the weekends then, you know, and she'd be like, don't serve him, he's a totally bitter man. I'd put her on washing glasses because she couldn't, she'd be spilling drinks and as fast as she'd, I'd be pouring two vodkas or something, you put them down and she'd wash them. <laughs> before I, And swear blind, she'd have you know, and the, before I get the mixer in, they'd be gone. You know, double Bacardi's and everything could be down the bloody sink with Monica. So I used to have to send her up, so then she'd go, I'd tell her off and then she'd go, that's it. I'm leaving, and you know in the Lisbon there's like a little side. She's very well the little spoken. Side, she was really, and she'd, she'd, she'd go like a film star, she'd walk up that, sweep up that stairs, and there was a big brass and she'd go, that's it, you won't see me again, and I'd so go home, Monica. She'd, and the bus, the bus used to wait for her, and the next morning I'd get a phone call, and she'd go, was I a naughty girl? You know, like, I'm, I, have I still got my job? And I'd say, oh, get down, you know what I mean? Forever sacking her, and forever, or she was sacking herself, but she'd be back the next day, you know.